Welcome to Red Rock Canyon, everybody. We have names for each of your teams. Orange team, your Finitor. Green team, your Tabula. Your challenge today is a treasure hunt, and you must successfully navigate to that treasure using one tool. Those tools are on either side of this cliff, in the bags, and the coordinates to the treasure are also in those bags. We have a GPS unit and we have a topographic map. You do not know which one you're gonna get. To help you on your quest, we have Haley and we have Danny. Are you guys ready? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, begin. All right, let's go. All right. come on, let's get this bag right here, quick. Each method of navigation the teams use has specific advantages, so let's follow the teams as they navigate the course. Okay, what did, what did we get? What did we get? Come on over. What did we get? The GPS. Team Tabula has the GPS unit. Team Finitor has the topographic map. And what else? Another? Got a map. Got a map. Open it up. What does it say? Okay, so has anybody ever used one of these guys? I have. You have? Do you know how to turn it on? How do you interpret this? How are you going to look at this? There should be a power button somewhere around there. There we go. Okay. Let's check in to see how Finitor is doing with their map. Now, a topographic map is just a snapshot of Earth at the time the map was made showing changes in elevation and showing other helpful information like rivers and lakes. Now topographic maps are especially helpful in the mountains because you can interpret where the terrain gets steep or the places where you might want to avoid. Now each contour line represents the same elevation, so lines next to each other show you a change. Now, the closer the contour lines are to each other, the steeper the slope in real life. It may look confusing at first, but the lines you see tell you a lot. Yeah. So let's go to where to. Let me check where to. Do you see that? Back here? They want to know where we're going to go. Tabula has the GPS unit. A GPS or Global Positioning System can find any point on Earth's invisible latitude and longitude grid system and guide you there with a digital map. And it does this by using signals from satellites in space to determine your exact location and plotting that position on the map database in the GPS memory. There are at least 24 GPS satellites in space at all times, and it takes at least three satellite signals for a GPS to find your current position. The GPS, we don't know where it's taking us. Hmm. The map, we do. Good point. We gotta get there before they get there. And if we were going the right way, then shouldn't the other guys be following us? I'm Probably. Here. So we gotta look for a lake. That means we're close. Okay, we got both teams coming in right now. We have Tabula over on the far side, and we have Finitar over here. There's a divide that divides both teams. One took the low side, one took the high side. Where's it pointing? Let's see. It's pointing this way. Huh. Hey, we just cross. What about on that rock? Do you guys see anything? Can you see anything over there? There. You guys see it? It's sitting on the rock. Yeah, I see it. What is that? I think it's a treasure. No! All right, let's see. Oh, you think this is it? You gotta go find it, come on. It's a treasure. Wait, wait, pull, the pull it up! Okay, come on, let's go. Go, 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 go! Quick, quick, quick! They're gonna get it! Fast as you can! <laughs> okay. Yeah! Do you wanna do it? Well, Team Finitor found the treasure first. They took a longer route, but still succeeded. And the other team took a more direct route, but they couldn't get over the cliff. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good job, team. The whole purpose of this is just to show you that there are different techniques, and you can use both of them to get to where you want to go. And there are benefits to each. I hope you guys learned something today. 
And what do you say? Never stop exploring your world! So here's something for you to try. With a parent or teacher's permission, look around your neighborhood and notice features you might see on a topographic map or GPS map. Then draw a topographic map of your neighborhood with contour lines representing hills and valleys. So get outside, find the streets, hills, and other landmarks, and never stop exploring your world. <laughs>